Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we will discuss two stories. We are going to start with the captaincy issue as Barca have finally announced their four captains for next season. Who are those players? We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this former Barcelona manager Tata Martino who reflects on his time at the club saying that hardest year of his career we are also going to be discussing on that so guys as we get right into it if you haven't subscribed to the channel endeavor to hit the subscribe button turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever i post a new video consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end with the 2023-24 campaign less than a month away, FC Barcelona have announced their four captains for the new season. And they are Sergio Roberto, Mark Andres Ter Stegen, Ronald Araujo, and Frankie de Jong. Following the departures of Sergio Busquets and Jody Alba, there have been two vacancies created in the leadership group at the club. Sergio Roberto and Ter Stegen were captains last season and were widely expected to retain their roles. As for the remaining two vacant slots, there were a number of contenders. Robert Lewandowski was seen as a possible option even though he has been with Barca for just one year. Why Usman Dembele was also an outside contender given that he is the third most senior player in the team in terms of time spent at the club. There had been talk of Pedri too, you know, being seen as a possible candidate by some within the dressing room. However, ultimately it is Araujo who had been one of the favorites that has been voted for the captaincy spot along with De Jong who has grown into one of the most vital players of the team over the past year, as Barca made their official announcement on Twitter. Arahoko being voted as one of the skippers does not come as a surprise at all and is more than deserved, given how he has grown into a pivotal figure for the team and one of the best defenders on the planet. Meanwhile, Frankie de Jong's appointment is well earned and should put a definitive end to speculations that Barca could be open to selling the Netherlands international if a big offer were to come this summer. Roberto will serve as the first captain, with Tash Tegan being the second captain. Arlajojo and Frankie de Jong would be occupying the third and fourth captain spots respectively. So finally, the issue or the debate of who will be the third and fourth captain have been closed as Barca have finally decided. Of course, that will come definitely after voting between the players themselves in the dressing room as Araujo and Frankie de Jong have filled up the, the space that was being occupied by outgoing Sergio Busquets and Jody Alba. So Araujo will be the third senior captain while um, Frankie de Jong will be the fourth. Of course, I think it's well deserved. Arago, most especially, is a player that has that quality in him for being a leader. And I think even if Arago was the main captain of this team, I think it could have still been something great. But of course, Barca keep adhering to their policy of longevity. As Sergio Roberto, who is the main captain, is because he is the senior most member of the squad currently after Busquets and Alba left last season. And there have been issues for a long time now. Who will be there to take over those, those empty slots left by Gerard Piquet, Alba, of course. And finally, Barca have decided. And of course, Frankie de Jong, despite coming after Usman Dembele to Barca, is the fourth captain. Because there were also names like Dembele, there were names like um, Robert Lewandowski being in contention. But of course, after a voting process, because definitely it must be voted by the players themselves within the dressing room, who they see could be their leader. And of course, Barca have the tradition of having up to four captains, up to four captains. So now let's expect that Sergio Roberto is not a starter. He has never been a starter for a long time at Barca, especially during the past couple of seasons where injuries have really 
um, you know, make him out of the most, in fact, majority of the season he has been out, and him being the first captain, um, Ter Stegen being the second captain, I think we can expect Ter Stegen to be um, wearing the armband more often than the other players, because Ter Stegen have always been a starter, hardly have injury problems, and so that's the case, as Barca have finally chosen their captains for next season. Then on to the next story of discussion. Speaking in an interview with Catalonia Radio, former Barcelona manager Gerardo Tata Martino has admitted that his year at the club was perhaps the toughest period in his managerial career. Martino, who is now the manager of Inter Miami FC, was appointed by Barca at the start of the 2013-14 campaign. However, it was a disappointing season for Barca as the Finnish second in La Liga failed to win the Copa del Rey and were eliminated from the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal stages. Martino came under immense criticism for the Blaugrana's underperformance and was relieved of his duties once the season was over. Looking back at his short stints with Barca, the 60-year-old has admitted that it was the toughest year of his career and that he did not have the experience needed to manage such a big club at the time. He said, I didn't adequately measure what it is like to coach Barca and that came as a heavy price. It was the hardest year of my career. I wasn't aware of everything that this challenge entailed, Martino said. I had not been a player at Barca, nor at Boca or River, and I ended up paying a high price um, for my experience or my inexperience to coach in one of these big leagues. After leaving Barcelona, Martino had a stint as a manager of Argentina national team before going to coach Atlanta United in the MLS. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.